Hi everyone, welcome back to this week's video. For this week's video, I'm gonna be doing a half Boxy Charm unboxing plus a full face of first impressions. So everything that I have on my face is new to me. Um, there are only about three or four products that aren't, but I will be letting you know what those are in the video. If you want to find out how to get this look or if you just want to find some new products to try out, keep on watching. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell so you can get a notification of every new video that I post. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, just a reminder, half of the products that I'll be using will be from my BoxyCharm, so it'll be kind of like a BoxyCharm unboxing plus a, a full face of um, first impressions, of course, because I have a ton of new makeup. There are one or two products in here that aren't new or first impressions, um, but everything else is basically uh, brand new and I've never used it. Okay, so let's get started. The first item in my BoxyCharm box, or the first item that I need on my skin, of course, is primer. And we have the No Pore Blum Primer. This is a touch and sole primer. This product retails for $18, and this is the full size. So let's go ahead and get to it. Oh, it does have a pump. I like that. It is a smooth and pore covering top secret for perfect makeup. I'll be the judge of that. Okay, that made my skin feel so, so soft. Um, I'm going to take a closer look and see. I'm not sure if it really filled my pores very much. Oh, no, it did. It did fill my pores in. It didn't fill my nose pores in very much, but also these are like a lot harder to fill in, even with like my Tarte um, Slate Primer. It doesn't even fill in my nose pores. So that made my skin feel really soft. It's not too heavy. I don't feel like it's like sitting on top of my skin. And it filled my pores in, so I like that so far. Okay, now moving into foundation, this is one of those products that isn't new, so I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera, but just so you know, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Buff Beige. Okay, we have the foundation now. Now I'm going to go into the concealer. This is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer in the shade Fair Light Neutral. I've heard a lot of really great things about this concealer. I've even heard that it's better than Shape Tape, so we'll see. It's like... $2 or a dollar cheaper than Shape Tape, but I'll be the judge of that, I mean, I guess. All right. Oh, this is thick. Ooh. Oh man, that's like super creamy and super, super thick. I don't know if I like that. I feel like it's gonna make my under eyes feel like heavy. Okay, that's blended out. I will say the shade is a little bit light for me, but that's okay because once I put powders and bronzers and everything on, it'll go ahead and blend in. But this is supposed to be a creaseless concealer, and I'm noticing it. Now the thing is, like creasing on its own and then creasing with my fine lines, it's a little bit of a difference, but it is sinking into my lines on this under eye because I have a lot of more, I have more fine lines on this side than I do this side. So I don't know how creaseless this really truly is, but I'm just going to set it and we're going to hope for the best. So this is another one of those products that's not new. I'm just going to use my trusty Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Okay, now that I set my under eyes, I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face with the Maybelline Fit Me translucent powder, another one of those products that's not a first impression, but so far we only have three, which is good. So I think that's about it. It's just going to be three. So I'm going to just take that on a big fluffy brush and just set my whole face. Okay, now for bronzer, I'm going to go back into my BoxyCharm 
And I am going to grab the Pretty Vulgar Bronzer. Now I'm like super excited for this because I've heard so many great things about Pretty Vulgar, but I just never bought anything, never tried anything else. So I'm really excited that it came in my BoxyCharm this month. This product retails for to oh, $32, and this is a full size, obviously. It is in the color Sun Kissed Snitch. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take that on an um, a fluffy brush and bronze up my skin with that. That's a really nice shade. It's like not too orange, but also not too cool. And it's and blending really, really nicely. Okay, that bronzer gets a 10 out of 10. I love that. It is not too orange, not too cool, like I said, but oh my goodness, it's so nice. Blended great. Um, so that's good. I give that a 10 out of 10. Now let's move on to blush. I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Peach My Cheeks Melting Powder Blush Infused with Peach and Sweet Big Cream. I've never actually used um, any of Too Faced's blushes so oh man this is a lot more pink than what i remember it being when i bought it um i'm really excited i just don't remember it being this pink so i'm a little nervous okay now i'm gonna take that elf stippling brush and i'm gonna go straight into the Too face blush and it smells so good i'm not sure this is definitely like a a cream product but it says, it, it's not, it's weird. It's almost as if it were like cream and powder. Because it does say powder blush. But it's a melting powder blush. So I wonder what that means. I'm just going to stipple this in. I'm going to take it off on the floor. Dab that on the back of my hand just so that I don't get crazy amounts of pigment. Okay, I actually really, really like that. It is a little pink, but you know, there's a time and place for everything. It's, but it's coming off a little more peach than pink. It just looks really pink in the pan. Okay, I know I worked at that for quite a bit and I never really work on my blush for that long, but I just wanted to Make sure it's as blended out as possible, but I think I really like that. I or maybe I just really, really like the smell of it. That could very well be it. But so far, so far, so good. Yeah. Okay. So I think that I'm ready to move into the eyebrows because we'll highlight at the very end of the video. I'm gonna use this uh, Tarte. Amazonian Clay Volumizing Brow Powder. I've never uh, tried any Tarte brow products, and so I'm excited. I got this in a little bit of a darker shade because I do have plans of dyeing my hair black, so that's why I got it in a darker shade, um, but I also ordered this like a week and a half ago, and I, ha I haven't dyed my hair black yet, so. We'll, uh, we'll wait on that. Okay, now I'm just going to go in with this dual-ended angle, angle brush and go ahead and get started on my brows. I did already brush them out with this spoolie and I have a spoolie nearby so that I can brush it out because this brush doesn't have one. Okay, so here's my thing with the uh, Tarte Brow Powder. I feel like this is great for someone who has full brows and just wants to fill in the sparseness or perhaps for to set um, our, like a cream brow product. I like how my eyebrows turned out. I had to work with them a little bit. It's a much more natural look, which I really, really like. I do like the shade. I think it matches great with my hair overall. I really, really like it. But if you're someone who likes very, very bold and sharp brows, going in with just a powder, I don't think is favorable for you, especially if that's just what you like. You know what I mean? Okay, now I'm going to go back into my boxy charm 
And the next product is this Nude Sticks Magnetic Luminous Eye Color in the color of Copper Foil. This is a full size product that retails for $24. So I'm really excited about this. And also for the eyes, a new product that I have been wanting to try out are these L'Oreal Infallible Magic Pigments. I got two of them. I got one in the color for space and then another one in the shade Lover's Tree. I think that the color that would best match this, because I'm just trying to go for like a really, really simple eye. I think I'm going to go in with the color Lover's Tree, which is this one right here. It's almost as if it were like a taupey, a taupey like purple or nude or something like that. Okay. This used to be like spilled all onto the back of something. I w did wish it had like a, like a sifter. I feel like it would be much easier. There is a little, just like a little tiny bit of sheen in this. Okay, this is not at all what I was expecting this to be. <gasps> Never mind. That's cute. I don't know if you can see that. Here, I'll try to do it on like the, my forearm right here. That is like the nicest, like iridescent. That is so cute. Okay, here, I'll just show you like my finger. Can see that how it looks right there and then that i was not expecting that at all i'm a little mad because i thought i had like planned my eye look out but i was fooled because that's not at all what i was expecting to swatch so <laughs> let's look at the other one the other one is the color first face now this one looks just like a uh a raspberry color this one doesn't seem to have any shimmer in it so I don't think it's like one of those like transforming shades like lover's tree was all right let's see okay I can do this I can work with this I can use this and some copper and I think it'll be nice. All right, let's go ahead and get started then. I did put a little bit of this pigment just on the back of a palette. That's how I'm gonna use it. I do wish I had a sifter or maybe like a little compartment where like it would pop up and then that way you can just roll your brush in there. But it's fine, it's totally fine. All right, to get started, I think I'm gonna go in first with the copper nude sticks. I'm gonna put this all over my lid and then I'm gonna blend the edges out with that burgundy shade. Okay, this by itself is so nice. Like, really, really nice. It's applying nicely. It's so soft. It's pigmented. I like it. So let's take, let's take this e.l.f. brush, it's just almost like a smudging brush if you can see, and let's put the lightest amount and then run this along the edge of that copper shade. Okay. Okay, now that I've packed that on, I'm gonna take a fluffy, it's an Essence uh, blending brush, and I'm gonna run this along the edge of that to diffuse out that shade a little more. Okay, now for the under eyes, I'm just gonna go in with a Star Looks Ultra Lux Long Wear Eye Pencil. And I'm going to put this underneath the waterline and just on the very, very outer edges of my um, bottom lash line. 
Okay, now I'm just going to take a smaller packing brush um, and run this over, run the pigment over that eyeliner. And then bring it up here, so drag it all the way up, up here, to the lid, or to the outer corner. Okay, for the last product that I'm going to be going in uh, to my boxy charm for is the Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a full-size product, and this retails for $24. I've never used this one. I've only used the waterproof one, so I'm really excited to try that out. And then the last product, then the last product that's in my boxy charm is the Sol de Janeiro Body Butter, but I'm not really going to use this camera uh or on my face but that retails for $20 okay, so I'm gonna just go in with the mascara on my top and bottom lashes okay lastly I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline vivid hot lacquer in the shade charmer oh I like this applicator okay I love how that looks. Okay, and that's it for this week's video. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I tried lots of new products, and so maybe you took one or two things away. I pretty much liked everything that I tried, but I think my favorite things were the bronzer and also the nude sticks, but everything, literally, I loved everything. I do hope that you like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell so that you can get a notification of every new video that I post. And I will see you all next week. Bye, everyone.